Now to news in your health. Tick season is rolling around and with a steady rise in illnesses caused by tick bites, the Vermont Health Department is asking you to be diligent. Fox 44's Isabel Schoenemann gives us some tips from health officials. Spring, summer, and early fall clock in with the highest tick activity, but the Vermont Health Department says ticks can be active anytime the temperature is above freezing. Our surveillance tells us that higher rates of disease happen in the southern half of the state. Um, however, we do find reports of tick-borne diseases in every county in Vermont. Dr. Natalie Quitt, the state's public health veterinarian, says the overall trend is tick-borne disease rates are going up. She says in the early 2000s, there were fewer than 100 cases a year. That number has increased drastically since the late 2010s. It's a growing trend um, across everywhere in the U.S. where you find tick-borne diseases is that there's been a gradual rise over the last decade or two of Lyme disease. She says a recent change in the way the state records this data could have something to do with it. Dr. Quitt says the changing climate could also be a factor. But whether you're trying to protect yourself or your pets, you're asked to stay vigilant. Avoid where ticks might be most um, prevalent, so stick to the center of trails if you're walking through the woods. Protect yourself with long sleeves and pants while you're out in the environment. EPA registered repellent can be used on exposed skin, and you always want to check yourself and your clothes when you come back inside. You can even take your clothes right off after being outside and put them in the dryer, put them on high heat for 10 minutes, and that'll kill any um, ticks that are hitchhike indoors. And a really effective way of preventing tick-borne disease is showering within two hours of coming in from tick habitat. Dr. Quitt says remove any ticks that have bitten you as soon as possible. For more health department resources, you can go to our website, myshamplingvalley.com. Isabel Schoenemann, Fox 4. Thank you, Isabel. And